Now, what is that? Well, you don't know what this is yet. You haven't met this shape yet. But, suffice to say, it is a parametric, sorry, it is a Cartesian equation. Now, what Cartesian equation is it? Well, sorry, you can't quite see. Here's my 1 plus 2 tan theta. I've just used theta and uh, t instead of theta because it's easier to write on this. And here's my 3 sec minus 4. Is that okay? So here's my x coordinate, it's just underneath this black bit. And here's my y coordinate, okay? Now, the whole point of this is that now as I change the parameter, both x and y change simultaneously, right? So one value pushes the whole thing around. So now when I play, I want you to have a look at what this point is doing, right? This is why we introduced locus before we started talking about this. Because this point down here is kind of like you guys moving around, right? But it's moving around in a certain way. It's not just moving around anywhere. It's tracing out a very particular shape. How would you, how would you describe this thing? Uh, it kind of, at a certain point up here, it kind of, what does that kind of look like? Sort of looks like a parabola, but then it does this guy. And you're like, whoa, hold on a second. You, how, how can you be two parabolas at the same time? Okay, so we just worked out what the Cartesian equation was, right? Okay, you stop moving. We'll put this Cartesian equation in. Um, what do we got here? So I think we've got 9 outside of, what do we got? X minus 1? Minus 1 squared. It's a minus, isn't it? Minus 4 outside of y plus 4 squared. By the way, just before I move on from that, um, we, we've met with functions and transformations and that kind of thing. We, we know what the minus 1, like forget about the fact that you don't know what the shape is. When you see x minus 1, what does that mean? It means a, a shift of 1 unit to the right. Yeah. And what about, what about this? 4 units downwards, which is why, by the way, have a look at where everything seems to be happening. It seems to be moving over this way, right? Uh, and then you got this, what do we got? Let me finish it off. That equals negative 36. What is that? Well, let's see if we got it right. There you go. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's because my values don't go forever. They just, yeah, so it, it loops back. You can see that's when it loops back. It goes to 10. Now, um, what is this shape? Well, you, you're not very familiar with it um, in this orientation. But if you do me a favor and just um, lean your head about 45 degrees to the left, can you, can you see it now? Maybe if I put in an extra couple of things here, you might see it a little more clearly. If I put in a line here and a line there, is it a little more familiar now? What is this thing? This is a hyperbola, right? It's the same kind of hyperbola you've been dealing with for years, except it's off at an angle, right? Uh, and that's why it has this weird funky equation like this. But that's the shape. That's the Cartesian equation, okay? Um, be thankful you don't really have to deal with heaps of depths about this. It's, it's an extension 2 topic. Even they get confused about it. Um, but there you go. You worked it out. Okay.